All right, so previously we finished off with the toolbar and tooltip settings. In this video, we're gonna be going through the series configuration for the waterfall visual. Now, as always, within the sample report, you already have some pre-configured variations of the chart, so you can play around with them. In our case, we're gonna be going into the training view and building the chart from scratch, so I can go through all the settings one by one. So, as always, first things first, let's create an instance of the waterfall visual. Let's resize it, disable the background and title. And as for the setup, I'm gonna be using type as my category, and I'm gonna be using values for 2020 in our change file. Now, if you go into the formatting options, the way that we have built the waterfall visual is we focus on three types of columns. So we have positive changes, negative changes, and a total column. Once you open up either one of them, you have additional settings underneath it. So for example, you can adjust the display name for it. Instead of positive 2020, you can, for example, just say increase. You can also enable or disable the value labels. Regarding the value labels and their customization, we're gonna be talking about more in the next video. So for the columns, what else you can do is you can adjust the width percent so you can make the column thicker or more narrow. Then you can go through line customization. So these lines are actually the connecting lines between the changes. So you can adjust the colors, opacities, and also the thickness of those lines. And of course the type. Then afterwards you have your fill color settings. So for example, in some cases, you know that an increase is not always a good thing. For example, if those are expenses, increase in expenses is actually a bad thing. So you can recolor them through these fill colors. Afterwards, you can also adjust the fill color opacity. So in cases you wanna make the chart a little bit more transparent, you can easily do that. Now, you do have some additional settings also here. For example, showing legends, showing tooltip, and so forth. To actually go through these, I'm gonna go up a little bit more and I'm gonna enable the legends. Go back to the formatting options for the positive column and I'm gonna showcase you the showing legends first. So if you disable this, what essentially happens is you remove the legends for that particular series. But if I hover over the columns, you can still see the series and their value is visible. So it's just one way on how you can work more dynamically with the legends. Now, the other thing that I can do here is I can also remove it from the tooltip. So for example, if you do that, hovering over the positive changes is not gonna showcase any value. In certain situations, this might come in handy. Now, afterwards, you have your legend markers. We talked about the legend markers in the video regarding the legends and data sorting. Now, next setting right here is gonna be enable column outline. So in cases where you actually create a fully transparent column, so let's do it like here. Fill color opacity, let's go for 10. So it's slightly transparent, almost, almost transparent. And I'm gonna enable the outline. So you can also have variations where you have the outlines, but not the fill there. And the last two settings you have for all of these three types of series is gonna be the connector line series, which allows you to define to which other series is this particular line gonna connect. And the other one is the starting point for the line. So by default, this is gonna be sitting on the edge, but you can also move it, for example, to the center, or you can also move it to the full column width. So it's something you can play around with, and depending on the use case, adjust it. All right, that's gonna be it for the series configuration, and I'll see you in the next video.